What is going on with Jose Reyes right now, Sandy? We'll start with you, and where is the team in, in regards with talks with Jose? Uh, so, thanks for the softball. <laughs> <laughs> Why save it for the end? Just go right for it right now. Two things before I answer the question. <clears throat> Number one, if I look distracted, it's because Pin Man is sitting right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, if uh, if I start coughing, it's because I've had a, a cold for the last week, and it's not because I'm trying to avoid the question about Jose Reyes. Okay, so anyway, um, so uh, you know the situation with Jose, I think, is well known. Obviously, he's a free agent, um, has been for some time. We had an exclusive period of negotiation uh, just after the World Series. Nobody ever signs with their former club during an exclusive period of negotiation. Almost never happens. Why? Because when players get to that point, they want to find out what's on the market. They're curious, like everybody else. Uh, so we never had any expectation that that would, uh, that would happen. Uh, since that time, there's been one reported offer uh, to Jose. Um, and I'm sure that an offer was made, whether it was made at that level or not, who knows. Uh, I do think that the new collective bargaining agreement, which was, was not concluded until just last week, uh, made many players and clubs hesitant to uh, move ahead with free agent negotiations. So in a general sense, not only with Jose, but just generally with free, free agents, things have been going very slowly. Um, <clears throat> it's an interesting market because not only is Jose in the market, but uh, also um, uh, Pujols. Um, fielder, you know, a number of very good players. Uh, and so things have, have been moving very slowly. From our standpoint, um, you know, we are, are, are watching the market. We're still very interested in, in uh, retaining um, Jose. And so, you know, during the last couple of weeks and during the next two or three weeks, um, you know, there will be a number of new developments. Um, the market, I think, for any individual player has not yet totally formed. We don't know who's going to be interested in any of those players. Uh, realistically, as I said, we're interested in bringing Jose back, but I also have to tell you that there are limitations, there are limits to that interest. Uh, we have to think about the long-term success of the franchise. Now, when I say limits, I don't mean well, gee, we can't afford to pay X amount of dollars next year because uh, of this or that reason. Uh, it's really consistent with what I said a year ago, and that is that you know we have to balance short-term, long-term. We have to main sh make sure that we have flexibility in how we uh, acquire players uh, and retain players, and all of that comes into play. But the bottom line right now is that we're still um, uh, watching what happens. We're still very interested. Uh, people might ask, well, why haven't you made an offer? What's with that? Well, um, I would say two things. Number one, um, as I've already indicated, the market really isn't clear at this point. And so whatever we might do might simply be throwing darts uh, at the wall. And the second thing is that, again, this is all somewhat strategic and so we have to decide um, when is the appropriate time if there's an appropriate time in the context of everything else that's happening and the only thing I would tell you uh, with reference uh, to this is that I don't believe Pujols or Fielder have gotten offers from their existing clubs either so uh, you know you shouldn't read too much into what has happened already but I you know again I want to underscore um, you know that we do have interest in bringing Jose back, but there are there are there are, I think, legitimate baseball reasons why that interest has to be carefully um, evaluated and and uh, to some extent circumscribed. So that's about as much as I can tell you with without shedding a lot of light on what's going.